Hello everybody. I am Dr. Sneha Patel from MB Patel English Medium Secondary and Higher Secondary School. Today, I am dealing with 12 standard students. Welcome to 12 standard students. In 11th, we started learning about psychology. And the very first thing that we dealt with was the learning the definition of psychology. And I'm 100% sure that you will be reciting with me the definition. And that is, psychology is a scientific study of human and animal behavior. This we have learned n number of times, that yes, subject matter of psychology is behavior. Now, what is this behavior? Behavior is something that we respond to or a reaction or a response, simple way to understand it. What do we respond to or why do we react? It is because of the presence of the stimulus or you can say stimuli. If there is one object, it is called stimulus. More than one in a plural way, we can say stimuli. All right. So in the presence of the stimuli, we get excited. How do we get excited? It's not we get excited. There are five sense organs in our human body. And they are, you have already studied in your ninth and 10th standard. Eyes, nose, tongue, skin, and ears. Yes, we get five sensation through this sense organs. From eyes, visual sensation, olfactory sensation, gustatory sensation, auditory sensation, and cutaneous sensation through the skin. Correct. Fine. For sensation to take place, the presence of a stimulus or stimuli is very, very important. As you will be seeing on the board, I have written the name of the chapter, chapter one of psychology standard 12th, and that is sensation, attention, and perception. These are the three different concepts that we are going to learn. And these are actually the three processes that take place simultaneously, very quickly together in the sense that. Like for example, for sensation to occur, what is required? An external object. Okay, fine. We do not pay attention to the external object. It doesn't bother us. Like for example, you are traveling by a car on road and you can see other vehicles passing by or the trees also over there. But you ju you're just aware that what's, something is going by, something is passing by, but you do not pay your 100% attention to it. So there is a feeling, there is a sensation but the next two processes do not take place at that time. Then how do all these three take place together? Okay, I'll show you one thing. Okay. There is a presence of the external object, right? And this is there to excite my eyes, my vis visual sensation. I pay attention to it. Okay. And after paying attention, when does perception take place? Perception is nothing but giving meaning to sensation. It is understanding the object. Because of my past experiences, I know what this is. This is a ball, right? The smiley, we can say that. So an external object, because of that, my eyes got excited. I paid attention to the object and then perception took place in the brain which gave the meaning of this object and then I understood that this is a ball. Similarly, can you listen to something? Yes. This is exciting my ears and I'm paying attention to it my auditory nerve 
takes the message to the brain and my brain perceives it, gets the meaning of it and tells me that I'm listening to the sound of the bell. Similarly, with the other sensations also, like for example, I have an object in my hand, which is an edible object. I better not taste it because I really know how I'm going to feel it. So just for an example, I had kept it over here. But same happens with the skin, the sensation, the cutaneous sensation, you can say that. Most of you as kids, you must have had these toys, soft toys with you, which you must have hugged like anything. Why? Because you like that feeling, that coziness. All right. But similarly, you cannot be hugging the thorns or some rough substance or object because it will harm your skin. Because why do you feel that good or positive or negative feeling? Because your senses tell you that what you are seeing, what you are paying attention to and what is the meaning of it. Fine. This attention and perception we will be dealing with in the later part of the chapter. But first of all, I would like you all to pay attention to the definition of sensation. So what is sensation? It is an experience regarding a stimulus through sensory organs. That's the very simple definition that yes, sensation to take place. What is important? An external stimulus. The presence of the external stimulus is very much important. Now, various physicists and psychologists also have divided attention into three classes. What are those three classes? The first one is internal receptor, external receptor and body receptor. First, I'll talk to you about the external receptors. Now, what are the external receptors? In the external environment, yes, the things are present and your senses get affected. They get affected because of cold. They get affected because of heat, the wetness of the soil, the sound of the vehicles. All right. So these are called the external receptors. Second is body receptor. Inside our body, there are the organs where we can get the feeling that the sensation takes place. Like for example, the hair in the nose, in the ears, the rods and cons in the eyes, which are responsible for the visual sensation. So these are called the body receptors. And third is internal receptor. Okay, there are eight lectures in our school, but I'm 100% sure the feeling of your stomach that you can experience in the fourth lecture there would be cramp in your stomach why your internal organ gives you that sensation there would be some you know uh, mice running in the stomach you can say that or like you might have exercised a lot someday and then you can develop muscle cramps so these experiences these sensation that we get inside our body are called the internal receptors. Now today, what I have dealt with is the very first page of the chapter, which I'll be going, which I'll be uploading right now after the video. And please go through that. You will have to prepare notes based on that particular chapter or the first page itself. And then later on in the later videos, we'll be discussing about the five sensations in detail. If you have any queries, kindly contact me. Go through this video again. Go through the chapter, the page of the chapter, which I am going to give you. Please go through that and please make notes. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself. Stay home, stay safe and study well.